Stephen Collinson, writing at CNN, says this, quote, while the American people are weary of the endless partisan fights bequeathed by Donald Trump's presidency, they are caught, the American people are, in a seminal moment that will decide how America is governed now and for generations to come. That's scary. Now, the Bannon thing and the voting rights situation underscore how the threat to what we have in our Constitution, the the checks and balances that are there, the, the three branches of government, at least two branches of government, being in constant struggle to assert their will, the executive and the legislative. And out of that was supposed to come the best possible governing of this country with the Supreme Court sitting on the sidelines as umpire to decide to call balls and strikes, you might say. But the, the, the Trump's election lies and, and, and his, his refusal to be held accountable that's getting worse every day. And these Nazi rallies that he's holding around the country and the humiliation of, of long-term politicians like the uh, dead for 10 years, Charles Grassley, somehow reanimated and sharing a stage with Trump in Iowa 10 days ago, was horrifying to see. Charles Grassley? Giving Trump a blowjob in front of the American people? I, I mean, you can't get any more degenerate than that. Now, granted, Grassley is approaching 90. He's a senile old fuck who probably has to have assistance to go take a leak. But to stand there for his handlers to allow him, Charles Grassley, Mr. Republican in Iowa... And you want proof that the Republican Party is dead? There you have it. So, all of this shit going down uh, is, is part of a broad set of actions that, that are showing how the Republican Party, it, it no longer exists. And that the Christian fascist party that took over is putting this, this massing of power and with the ultimate goal of this autocratic leadership in this country, they're putting all of that above the basic democratic fundamentals that this country supposedly was founded on. And, and while this is going on, the... I, 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 I don't know. I, look, the Build Back Better plan to me, I, I think, is a wonderful idea. But to be pushing this right now, to be focus, focusing all the political energy that the Re- uh, Democratic Party can muster into fighting amongst it, uh, the members, um, um, uh, amongst itself... When the republic is under assault to a greater degree than if we were being invaded by a foreign army or a different country, we are being destroyed from the inside. Is this a time to be thinking about those issues that are critical? I understand. Everything in the Build Back Better plan is something I fully support. But now... Because it's going nowhere. There are so-called Democrats in the Senate who are refusing any kind of cooperation in getting this passed. While we inch closer and close, I mean, cinema and mansion might as well be agents of, a, of an enemy uh, bound to destroy us because they are keeping this goddamn thing on the front burner, keeping the attention focused on the disagreement among Democrats, while the Christian fascists slowly, inexorably are destroying this republic, are eating away at the foundation. And, and the Build Back Better plan will mean nothing 
If the Christian fascists get control in 2022 and then again in 2024, surely, surely there are strategists within the Democratic Party who understand this. Where are they? I I mean, seriously, have I got this wrong? I mean, is this a good time to be focusing? Do you think the American people are focused on, you know, a, a free child care or two years of uh, uh, post-secondary education to uh, free uh, at the college level uh, or expanded Medicaid and Medicare? Or, or is the American, are the American people focused on, on the fact about to lose this republic? Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts. So you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.